Hey folks, Dr. Fawaz from the Wellness Way in Pleasanton. Now, I hope you had a chance to review previous videos about the history and cholesterol and so forth, but today we're going to be talking about cholesterol level. Have you heard of the term high cholesterol? Have you heard about the good and the bad cholesterol? Let's dive into that and have a deeper look at what these number numbers mean. Look at, at the medical, looking at the medical approach, they want the total cholesterol to be less than 200. They want your LDL to be less than 100 or ideally less than 200, but it could be less than 130. They want your HDL to be higher than 40. One of the big questions they hear is what's, what's the ideal level of cholesterol? Up until 2004, the normal total cholesterol was 240. However, people got smarter and started exercising and eating better. And now the medical community, or specifically the big pharma, got together and they that started affecting their bottom line. So they implemented a new guideline lowering cholesterol level to 200. And I would not be surprised if they dropped that even lower. Now, you might think that I like cholesterol to be high. No, I don't. But here is how I look at it. High cholesterol is a normal physiological response. Let me repeat that. High cholesterol is a normal physiological response to a stressor. So if we find the stressor and fix the cause of the problem, we can lower cholesterol naturally without the danger side effects of medications. Folks, this issue is huge, and you need to arm yourself with the right knowledge to be able to make the right decision for you and your family. Join us as we dive deeper into this issue in our upcoming live seminar in our office in Pleasanton, Wednesday, May 24th at 6.30 p.m. In the next video, we'll talk about the connection between high cholesterol and heart attack. Is there really a connection or is it a scare tactic to get you to take more medications? What I'll be presenting in the next video is not my opinion. It's based on scientific research and articles from the American Heart Association. Folks, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.